All right, well today we're going to put the bridge on this uh, triple watt Martin kit guitar. Get this thing underway and uh, at least get the bridge on it today and set up and glued and clamped and all that jazz. So uh, I'm going to use this thing. I, you might have seen me in the last video use this. It's got two little tiny pins in the end of it there. I think if I hold it in front of my shirt, maybe you can see them. Those two little pins, maybe you can see them better that way. I'm not sure if you can see them at all or not. I can't see the camera. I'm going to just double check this to make sure because the owner seems to think this might be the bridge locating pins might be in the wrong place. And he may be right. I don't think so because I didn't check it once. But to be absolutely sure, I'm going to check it again. So I'm going to take this blank nut and just lay it in the slot up here. I'll bring you over here for this. It's going to lay it in the slot like that. And then uh, measure from the nut to the 12th fret. And then just lift this up. It's got a little groove in the bottom of it. You set right down over the 12th fret. And we'll measure back here. He's got an adjustment right there for it. So uh, let me bring you over here closer. We'll get right into it. Now you see the bridge is not glued on. It's got those locating pins in there. And that one's in there pretty good. The locating pins have already been set, and uh, the owner said the guy that set it was off on some other guitars in the course that he was taking in building this guitar. Uh, so, I'm going to take this tool right here that I showed you, and it should already be adjusted for this guitar because I haven't used it since the last video or whenever it was that we did this. I'm just going to lay this nut right in the groove there. It sets down in there pretty nice. Lay this on top of the nut. And these, these pins are right exactly on the 12th fret. Now like I say, it's got a groove in it. See there? I don't know if you can hear it or not right there. For the, for the uh, saddle to set in. And if I come back here and look where the saddle... Not for the saddle to set in. I'm going to put this on the 12th fret and come back here where the saddle will sit and these pins are exactly in the very center of the saddle slot, the width of the saddle. Okay, so it's dead on the money, man. Those locating pins are in the right place. Bridge is in the right place. I measured from here to here. I think it was 7 inches and 1 16th. I measured from this side of the fretboard to here, 7 inches and 1 16th. So we're all good to go. Now what I got to do now, I'm not going to hold you up for it. And there goes one of the pins down in the freaking guitar. I'm going to take them out for right now anyway. I'm going to take a knife or a screwdriver or something. Scuff that up really good. Same thing right here. And uh, it's going to be very painful to watch. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know if you want to see that or not. Really, what I'd like to have is a, a nail. A knife would cut into it too much. This will work. This is an ice pick. And I'm just going to uh, rough it up around here. You know, just so the glue will have something to bite into. I'm going to do it out on the wings, both wing area. And around the back here, because that's where most of the stress will be. That's where we want it to hold its tightest. And that's good right there. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I won't keep you here for it because I'll probably end up sticking myself with this. It's very, very sharp. If you can see it there, I'll put my black shirt behind it. Uh, I'm just going to scuff the shit out of this. This is rosewood. It's a lot harder. Very hard. I think that's rich light. Yeah, it is rich light. That's not rosewood. So it's going to be even harder. Yeah, okay, well. I'm going to maybe have to get a knife to do this when it's doing it, but they're not very deep. And uh, I'll bring you back when you get ready to glue it on. i got to get that, that pin out of there, man. And I'll bring you right back. I see that pin laying right there. Oh, I can't pick it up. There we go. Here's the... Uh, I don't know if you'd be able to see that or not, how I roughed that up. I can't see the camera, man. It's it's rough, believe me. And I got the locating pins in. Let's see, I got glue. I got a brush. Got wet cloths. 
I've got, uh, I think, everything papers house. All right, well, let's get into it. Nothing like a little bit of glue to get the day started, right? <laughs> this is Tight Bond Original Glue. It's all I use for this, man. Used it for years. Many years. Never had an issue with it. Sometimes people used to tell me, that's too much glue. Well, can you really get too much glue on something? I've never had one come off. <laughs> it may be may look like too much glue to you but I've never had one to ever be returned and need re-glued again never happened they have all stayed on now getting on here it's gonna be a trip because I always end up getting glue all over me and the guitar and you and the camera and everything else before it's done I'm going to need more than that. It takes more glue than what you think, really. Really, it does. And, you know, you got a little bit of work time on this, but I like to say, you know, that doesn't give me any time that I should be screwing around. You know what I mean? Get it on there while the glue is still nice and fresh. And i uh, be done with it. I think it's got it. I forgot to bring a cup of water in here. That's okay though. Now we want to set those locating pins right where they're supposed to go. And I can't even see the hole, man. There it is. I'm going to leave those in place for the time being. Because a lot of times you can tighten the clamp up and things tend to move around. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't want that bridge to move. I've glued on fretboards before that didn't have locating pins. Some of them I installed locating pins in, some not. You just want to be careful that it doesn't move. Like you know, like I said, a lot of times when you start to clamp something and that wood glue in there, it'll move on you. And a fretboard, you don't want a fretboard moving. You don't want this moving either because it's gonna, it's going to. Uh, Throw the intonation off if it moves. Now I usually use I got a whole bunch of these really big clamps right here. And that's what I usually use. Harry, the guy owns this guitar, sent these. Harry, thank you, man. I've never used these, but I've seen them a lot before. Now what I want to do here. Oh man, here it is. I thought I lost it. I wanted to put that piece of leather right there. Just to help balance out the actually I'm just going to put this piece of wood it's formed to the top of the bridge so it won't hurt the bridge and we're good here with this first clamp this piece of wood is just to uh, spread the stress out a little bit you know what I mean yeah, I thought I would use these instead of those big clamps that I usually use. And I've seen these a lot, man. They got felt or cork, actually, on them. So it's not going to hurt to clamp it right to the bridge. But I'm going to run these over onto the wings. Just like so. And tighten more. Look at the squeeze out. Wow. A lot of squeeze out coming out of there as it should these won't hurt the uh, bridge or leave marks on it or anything of that nature alright yeah, I don't like the way that feels there it might be better yeah yeah boy she's oozing out all over the place man I don't like the way that's move this out here. There we go. There, that's much better. Yeah. Well, they're tight. 
All right, what I'll do with that ice pick, man, that's a good tool for what I'm about to show you right here. Take the ice pick, stick it through an old wet cloth. It's it's perfect, man, for getting that squeeze out. Wiped up. I mean, you can get back in there where you normally might not be able to get, you know what I mean? Those tight places. Actually, I can get most of that with just with the rag here. Yeah, get in there with the rag. Get every bit of it out. Look like. <laughs> of course, I'll get you. Bring you over here and show you closer up shot of those pieces of wood I had laid up here on the bench in case I needed wedges or anything like that. So far, not needed them. Now it's going to be a little tight down in here. I can get most of it with my fingers, and I'm going to have to use a uh, tiny little screwdriver. It's not like before. That clamp looks, it's not tight or something. There's something funky about this clamp right here. And it's tight. Alright. Get that squeeze out of, out of there. That clamp doesn't seem like it's tight, man. I'll check it in a minute. In fact, let me... Let me do this. Get that squeeze out right there. While I'm here. Because I can reach back up under there. See? A lot better with that one clamp out. Probably do the other side. Over here like this, too. I can just get the squeeze out way better. Of course, it's going to squeeze out more when I put the clamp back on it. I know that. How y'all doing, man? How's the world treating you? I hope it's been good to you. Throughout the pandemic. Wow, what a mess. Alright. Yeah, I did get more squeeze out. I'm going to take this clamp loose now. Just move it out of the way till I get this all this squeeze out over here wiped away. You all seen I didn't put all that much glue on there. And you can see how much is squeezing out of it. Quite a lot. But that's that's good, that's what we want. more over there. Not bad. Not bad. Come on. I've never used these clamps before. This is the first time. I think they're going to be alright. I'm going to have to learn how to wipe that squeeze out away though with the clamps in place. <laughs> I'm seeing that. I can on the back easy enough. Not the front so well. I got a D28, HD28 uh, guitar over there. I'm going to do this very same thing too. <laughs> oh, the fun, the fun. It's got a, it's got a rich like bridge on it. That's what this one is. The guy wants to replace it with rosewood. I said, can you do it? And I said, well, man, you know better than that. What do you mean, can I do it? I might not be able to wipe the squeeze out of the way, but I can glue the bridge. I have to take the old one off and glue the new one on. I don't want to, I want to get that with the, with the uh, clamp on it. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the ticket. I get way up under there now with this. A good old ice pick. I've had that thing a lot of years. God gave me that's no longer on this world. Rest in peace, buddy. Miss you. Love you and miss you. Yeah, that's looking good, man. 
I better get those locating pins out of there though pretty soon. In fact, let's do that right now. Like they'll pull me out. Oh, yeah, no. Hell. I guess I'll do the job. Don't need the locating pins anymore. And it was almost glued in there already. So I say you got a little bit of a time, working time with this glue, but you know, you don't want to waste it this is just because you got it. All right, I'm going to shut the camera off and clean that. Uh, maybe go over that a little bit more, and then I'll get you and bring you down here and give you a closer look. What beautiful, majestic work looks like. holy rag. This rag's holy. And there she be. Still oozing out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. I had all that wiped away. It's still just slowly. I'm going to have to wipe it down one more time. I don't know if you can see over in there. It's located. I can get around back here and show you the back side. She is on there tight, boys and ladies. <laughs> See underneath them, uh, underneath the, between the uh, clamp and the top of the guitar. It's kind of hard to get in there and under that block and under that clamp. She's down there tight. That wooden block was just only to distribute the stress. And it's cut to, to fit around the top of the, uh, the bridge there, too. I made that cut it out a long time ago just for this. I got a longer one. I had to use that short one because those locating pins were here and here. The long one was too long for that. But that's what it looked like up close. I'm going to wipe that out of there again before it sets up. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I was going to show you. Check this out, man. Different angles there. Use this way. There's the disc sander. Over there's the belt sander standing up. It, now it'll stand up like that or lay down. Either one. I'll just have it standing up right now. I've already been using it. Good machine, man. Buddy, thank you. You know who you are. I'm trying to show a thumbs up there. He don't want his name said, and I respect that. I just want to say, I love you, man. Thank you so much for this. I've already been using it a lot. It's getting broke in good. By the way, uh, where's the guitars? There's the guitars. Check all those boxes out, man. There's more of them down on the floor. All around there, guitars right there. They're everywhere. Holy shit. I'll bring this over there and let you see it under that light. You probably can see it better. If I can get through all these guitar cords and cables and crap. See, she's butted up there really nice, man. See that? I hold it up there like that and I can't see the camera. I can't see it in it when I'm looking at it. But uh, I think it's going to be all right. I need to throw a rug over those or something sometime. Wow, that's just freaking nuts. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, and I think I did, but I'll say again. I use Tight Bond Original. That's what I always use on this job right here, and for gluing necks in too. And, uh, you know, that's just, if I need to take the bridge off or the neck off, I know I can do it. I set up, up, uh, apply, up, 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 <coughs> apply heat. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I know I can take it off if I ever need to. And I know it will not ever come off, you know, if the surfaces are properly prepared and use wood, uh, type bond original on wood and it's clean and the surface is prepared right, it's never going to come off, man. I'm telling you, it won't do it. And you can still take it off if you have to. Anyways, I'm going to leave that for, uh, I like to leave it 24 hours. A lot of guys say 12. 12 is enough, I know, but. I wouldn't want to put string stress on it until after 24, but it's going to be a long time before we put string stress on this old girl. 
probably uh, probably do the frets maybe the next thing I file both ends they're sharp as crap I think he just hammered them in or pressed them in and clipped the ends of them off that's what it feels like they are very sharp they all need that all needs to be worked down they need to be uh, <coughs> leveled crowned and polished and all that jazz so stay tuned and eventually we'll get to hear what this old girl sounds like I hope thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me tonight today this morning whenever you're seeing this video Come back and we'll do it again very much soon. Maybe probably do something with those frets next. You know, I've got an angle file. I can adjust it and lay it right down on there. I think it's got like a 35 degree angle on it. And do that first. And then I'll take a one file and go over, you know, each uh, end of each fret. Anyway, stay tuned. Watch for all that stuff. Cheers. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you there. Hope to see you there.